Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is a requested question for this graph question. And uh, based on the last few years, you can see that you will be having a question on graph for this upcoming exam as well. So make sure you understand uh, how to do this question and it may help you for your exam as well, okay? So the table shows some values for y equal to 1 plus 2 over x. Given that correct, given correct to two decimal places where appropriate. Now question number one, complete the table so as you can see here we have no values this is your value of y when x is equal to 8 so y is equal to 1 plus 2 over x is equal to 8 so let's see what we have for this one that should be 1.25 that will be your value for this y that is part one that is done now for part two we have to draw the graph of y for 0.528 so let's do that okay so the first point we have is 0 0.55 so 0 0.55 will be right here then we have 1 3 this one then we have 3 1.67 so we have we have 2 2 first sorry 2 2 1.67 will be about here then we have 4 1.5 then we have 6, 1.33. So 5 is 1.4. 6 will be 1.33. And we have 7, 1.29. And finally, we have 8, which is 1.25. 1.25 will be right in the middle. So as you can see, we have, a, we have all those uh, points. We have to join them with a smooth curve for your uh, answer. So let's try to do that as best as we can. So that will be coming to here. Okay, and this will be. So make sure that all uh, the curve passes through all your points properly and make it as smooth as possible. And it is very important for your uh, question that comes right afterwards. This is your y equal to 1 plus 2 over x. Now let's move on to question part c. So as you can see part c tells you there's a line L that we don't know cross, crosses the graph of y at those two points. So question is to find the equation of a line L. So now the question I need to ask you is how do you find the equation of a line? As you guys know, it looks like something like this y is equal to mx plus c. So to find the equation of a line, you first have to find the gradient. And then you can find this pretty easily. So here you have been given some information to use. The line L crosses the graph at two points, which means it also these two points are also on the line. When x is equal to 2, let's find the value of y. So if you go to your table, x is equal to 2, the value of y is 2. So one passing point will be 2, 2. Now same thing, x is equal to 5, y is equal to 1.4. So the other passing point will be 5 and 1.4. Okay, so now if you have two points, you can find your gradient by using your formula, which is equal to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 so 1.4 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2 that'll be minus 0 0.2 so now to find the equation of a line l we have to use the gradient and one of those two points let's choose this one let's choose 2 2 this is your x coordinate and this is your y coordinate so to write the equation we choose so on top you have to write y minus this value over x minus this value is equal to the gradient minus 0 0.2 which is over 1. Next step we have to cross multiply you will have y minus 2 is equal to minus 0 0.2x plus that will be times this so 2 times 0 0.2 that should be 0 0.4 so y is equal to minus 0.2x plus 2.4.
and that will be your equation of your line L. So just to recap, the way we find the line L is to first find the two points that passes on line L. So when you have the two points, you can find the gradient by using your formula, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So when you have the gradient, you can choose one passing point, or choose this one, and you can find the equation just like that. That is for part C. Now uh, for part D, we have a line with gradient equal to this. So equation of a line is equal to y, m, x, plus c. Now this is given to you already, m is minus 1 over 3. Okay, That is the first information given to you. Now this line also crosses the graph of y, where x is equal to 1. And x is equal to k, that we don't know, but we know this one. So based on this graph, when x is equal to 1, what is the value of y? Going back to your table, x is 1, y is 3. So the passing point will be 1, 3, right? Now, since you know a passing point, since you know the gradient, you can find the equation of this line. Let's call this line the line P. So how would you find the equation of line P? You will do the same steps. This is your x-coordinate, this is your y-coordinate. You will do y minus 3 over x minus 1 is equal to your gradient, which is minus 1 over 3. So now we have to cross multiply, you will have 3y minus 9 is equal to minus x plus 1. Now simplify, 3y is equal to minus x plus 10. That is your equation of your line P. Okay, so now we have to use this line because it tells you here by drawing a suitable line on your grid, so we have to draw this line on the grid to find the value of k. Now where is the value of k? The value of k is where this line will cut the graph at the other point. Okay, so let's do that. So to draw a line, we have to have two points. So one point we have is 1, 3 from here. And what is the other point? Let's choose anything we have. Let's choose, for example, I can choose x to be equal to uh, 4, for example. So y will be equal to, so minus 4 plus 6 plus 10 will be 6, divided by 3, that should be 2. So the other point will be 4, 2. So now we have two points. We can draw your line on the curve, right, on the graph. So the first point was 1, uh, 3 is right here. And then we have 4, 2. 4, 2 will be right here. So now given that we have the two points, we can join them to draw your line P. So by drawing your line P, you will find your answer for your value of K. So as you can see, your value of, uh, so this is your, your first point of intersection, and your other point should be about here. So usually it should be a landing on the 6, but that is okay as well, because you always have an estimation for your error, for your values in graphs. So this one will be your value of K, which is 6.15. That will be your other value for k. So let's write this down, 6.15. But now usually, if your graph is perfectly drawn, if this line is perfectly straight, you should get 6. But the method is what counts. This is what you need to be doing to get this value as your answer. And that will be your question number 7. And I hope that was somewhat helpful. Um, as always, if you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. On this note, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.